Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can downgrade your iOS device from iOS 16 developer beta to iOS 15 stable version. So you can roll back to your previous iOS version which was stable and you won't face any issue in that and that too without losing any data. So make sure to watch the video at the very end so that you don't miss any step or cause any problem to your device. So without wasting further time, let's head straight to the video. So my name is Rohit and you're watching Snapback. So let's get started. So the first step is to go to your settings, then click on your name, profile, then click on iCloud, and then again click on iCloud backup and make sure you have backed up everything on your iCloud, everything important so that in case if something goes wrong, you can just reassure everything like your important stuff. Otherwise, this just won't delete any data, but still these are precautionary measures. So step two is to go back to your settings again, then scroll down to general, then scroll to the bottom, then click on transfer or reset iPhone, and then we have to reset our settings. So we have to reset every settings first because there are some widgets on iOS 16 which are not supported on iOS 15. So in case we don't encounter any bug, so we take this precautionary measure. So make sure to do exactly same and do not erase everything. So just click on reset then click on reset all settings and then click on reset all settings and then again click on reset all settings and your phone will reboot so once your phone restarts click on settings again then click on your profile then click on find my go to find my iPhone and disable it for now so the last for your Apple ID just input your Apple ID once click on turn off and as you can see, our Find My iPhone is turning off. So after this, you will need to move to your PC. So once you're on your PC or Mac, if you are using Windows PC, then open iTunes. And if you are using Mac, open Finder and click on this phone icon over Finder. And once you do that, you'll be on this screen. Then after that, you just have to back up your data. So to back up your data, you have to select Backup Now. And just don't select this Encrypt Local Backup and click on backup now and wait for your phone to get backed up so once your backup has been done open your web browser and go to this website called ipsw.mu and press enter and after that just find your iphone model so for me it's iphone 13 so i'll select iphone 13 and now on the latest version of the stable software so for me it's ios 15.5 so i'll click on that then scroll down to click on download so once you have downloaded your file open your itunes pack again on windows and if you are using mac then open your file and go to your itunes and after that just if you are using mac tap and hold option key and click on restore iphone if you are using windows pc just hold shift icon and click on restore iphone then select the file that you have downloaded so, so for me it's in downloads then click on this file that you just downloaded from the site and click on open and it will give you a warning that iTunes will erase everything and restore your iPhone to iOS 15 and will verify this restore with Apple. Just click on restore because we already backed up our data and on the next step we will restore it. And if you are watching my video till now, sub to your channel will be really really appreciated. So once your device gets restored, it will be on this kind of screen. Just swipe up, it will be like completely new. Just select every option. And for now, you just have to click don't transfer apps and data because we'll be restoring our data later on. I don't have an Apple ID. Then click on setup later in settings. So once your setup has been done, your phone will be like completely new. You'll see nothing on your device. So now we'll be going to the restoring part, which is kind of tricky. So for that, you need to switch back to your PC again. Now, once you connect your device to your PC, or Mac, it will give you this pop-up welcome to your new iPhone, so it will give you an option to restore from backup but you need to click on setup as new device and then you have to click on continue and then click on get started and once you click on get started you will be on this screen. So on Windows PC you need to hold Windows and R key and type in percentage app data percentage again and press enter and for Mac you need to click on manage backups and then click on the backup that you have done before and click on open file location so once you're on this 
pop up screen just click on apple computer and then click on mobile sync and then click on backup and once you do that you will be on this kind of screen so you just need to notice which one was the earlier backup that you did so on mac you will be on this kind of screen as well so it for me it's this file 71.6 gb so i'll open that and then scroll down to the bottom until you see this info.plist and then right click on this and then click on open with then select notepad and select open so once you open this file just press command f on your mac and control f on your windows and type in product version and press enter so once you do that you will be reaching on this kind of string and here you can see that it's written 16.0 below this product version you need to just click that and just remove that 6 and type 5 on that place and then click on file and then click on save then close this window and then again open your itunes then click on restore backup and then you will see this kind of screen on your itunes just click on restore and it will take some time for your iphone to get restored it depends on the amount of data you had on your iphone before so as you can see our backup has been restored on our iphone so it will get restart once again so after restoring the backup your phone will be on this screen you just swipe up just input your password and once you do that you can see this restore computer screen then click on continue and then you can set up everything later as well you need to input your password for your apple id It will ask you for a two-step verification, so it's automatically done because same already inserted in this phone. It will ask you for an old passcode if you have kept any. I'll set up everything later. So as you can see, we are finally on our iPhone, and our backup has been restored successfully. If I go to Photos, here you can see everything has been restored on my device. So as you can see, guys, everything has been restored, and every application is getting installed with the data already which are existing in my previous iOS version. It's gonna stay. So this is how you can downgrade your iOS device from iOS 16 developer beta to stable iOS version. That too without losing any data. So if you're still watching this video, please drop a like, and if you're new to my channel, a sub to the channel would be really appreciated. So this is it for this video. I'll meet you in the next one. Snaptech signing out.